Welcome to Ireland and more specifically, welcome to Cork. We're doing some filming today with Quafora and McGregor Healthcare. And we're filming today with two lads who have got spinal cord injuries, PJ and Jack. We're currently stood outside Jack's house where we've done a sit down chat with him where we talked about how he got the injury, how that's affected his day to day life. He's a very active lad. He used to play a lot of sport and watches a lot of sport. And more specifically, how his relationship with PJ has helped him kind of get through the initial stages of having a spinal cord injury. Later on today, we're going to be going to PJ's house and doing the same thing with him. James, our camera operator, is currently in the house getting some B-roll with Jack. So let's go and take a look. So what we're doing basically is going through Jack's exercise routine. We've done his warm up. We're going to do resistance bands, his day to day stuff, I guess. Right, so we're back outside, as you can tell, in the bright sunshine. We've been really lucky with the weather today, which has actually helped us with the exteriors. James has just done the exteriors of the house. We're basically done here now, done the interview, but a very standard two camera setup, a wide and a close up. So we're kind of almost done here. Are you, am I on? Yeah. Am I on? <laughs> you do, she never tells me if it's rolling or not, so I'm so tired. Okay. I, I've just woken up. Okay, so you have a nap in the car too? I had a nap in the car too. We are now at PJ's house in the middle of the countryside in a very different location to, to Jack's. We've got dogs running around. There's some, I think, are they cows in that field? There's a tractor and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to sit down with PJ and talk about very similar things to what we did with, with Jack, uh, kind of to set the scene, get his perspective on, on his spinal cord injury, how that's affected him, his friendship with, with Jack. It's turned out to be such a lovely day. So hopefully we can get him outside. time at PJ's farmhouse yesterday to shoot any BTS but it went well it went really well there was a bit of going back and forth with James and myself for the lighting setup basically because we were trying to match it with Jack's in the morning so we we decided to shoot in the kitchen but for the lighting to match it took a bit of time to get right and we only ended up going with one key light so we just utilized the natural light and that's kind of where we landed we're all rigged up ready to go this morning which is going to be in the english market so the two lads are going to meet up eat some nice food drink some nice drinks and it should be a good day then in the afternoon we're going to go to the brewery and do a tour which obviously we're all going to enjoy <laughs> So that's day two done. Today's been a pretty hectic one. We were in the English market. We didn't get a chance to recce it before the shoot, which always, ideally we would want to do that, but obviously we're from Manchester, we've come to Cork, so that wasn't possible. We did manage to have a quick look round uh, before everyone got there this morning. So yeah, it's been, a, it's been a very busy few days, but well worth it. And then we're going to head to PJ's house and kind of rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. Also, England have just scored. So that's good. 